very um, animated scene, let's say we have two boys who are working on a school project. It's called Real Stuff, R-E-E-L, like a camera reel. Um, sorry, the film reel when we're filming, um, like the old-fashioned way of filming. And these two boys are working on a project for a movie that they have to make for school. Okay, gentlemen, when you're ready. Alrighty, because everybody likes it. So, there's this spaceship, and then it's right beside the Washington Monument. Then everyone else starts screaming. And then the army guys come with a hundred tanks and guns. But nothing happens. So wait. <coughs> and wait, more music, Eddie. Finally, the door of the spaceship opens. Now comes this guy dressed in a silver spacesuit. But is he human? He looks pretty human, so nobody gets too scared. But then, this big robot guy comes walking out. I'll be a robot! I'll be a robot! He's made out of this special steel. Special steel. And he's got no face. Anyway, I'll be a space guy. I can win things. But then, this army guy shoots him in the arm. Ah! But why do you shoot him? That's an army guy's job. Oh. Anyway, this makes the robot really mad, so he lifts off the visor of his face and vaporizes <coughs> all the weapons of the army guys. <laughs> then the space guy escapes where this kid named Bobby is with his mother. Then Bobby and the space guy become friends. And then the space guy says he wants to get all the scientists in the world because he needs to tell us something important. So I will save the Earth. Save the Earth from something terrible. Be do be do be do be do. Wait, uh, I've seen this movie before. It's an old black and white flick. Yeah, it's fantastic. The day the Earth stood still. But aren't we supposed to make our own movie for class? So we'll do a remake. I can be Bobby and the space guy. I want to be a space guy. You gotta be a robot. But the robot doesn't talk. That's why it's a remake, so you can talk. Listen, I got this idea. There's these two kids in a haunted house. Boy, that's original. See, the house got built on top of an old river. And at night, when the kids are trying to sleep, the ghost of all the dead bodies come tapping on the doors and screeching on the windows. So the kids look out. And they see this figure, this guy who's got no bolt and sucks out the eyeballs of the people who won't go to sleep at night. Oh, what are you talking about? The flabby man. <laughs> well, just to tell him to me so I'll get to sleep. It's scary, huh? The guy who sucks out your eyeballs. That's so scary. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, how are we going to make a guy without any bones? How are we going to make a spaceship land in the middle of what? Hey, Washington? Skinny model, model. model. I got a ride of it. Wait, 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 I got it. Listen, I got this idea. There's these two kids in Auntie house. Again? And they're in the basement and there's this pack of flesh-eating dogs who tear away at the skin of the, dead of the kids. What's the point? And then they get kidnapped by these two crazy guys who say they're going to drop them over a 500-foot waterfall that don't tell them where the money is. But they do the money. They hit it under the bricks and the bones of the guy which her mother killed him when she went nuts after seeing Ghost in the Mirror. Jeez, Eddie. What? Why is everything going to be so creepy with you? There are not real stuff to be scared about. You're just scared too. Why are you always going to go more? You're just scared too. <gasps> it's got a happy ending. All the people in the world come together so they're not scared anymore. I can also make happy endings. So how do you think of robot talks? <laughs> like this. I will save the earth. <laughs> Come with me in my spaceship to worlds unknown. I'll go get the camera. Oh. <laughs>